What's happening traders and investors? In this video, I'll show you all the tools that I'm currently using to trade and invest in 2023. Also a quick reminder before getting the video that all the tools I currently use to day trade and invest will be linked down below. So don't forget to check them out. So the first thing we're gonna be looking at is gonna be this platform here at the bottom. And we can see that this is still Benzinga. So I'm still using it. Um, I quite like it, got used to it. And the way I have it set up, it's pretty simple. I have the economic data over here at the bottom. I have the general news feed, and I have the individual ticker news feed just over here. So this is how I have it set up and it's working quite nice. I just need to type in the name that I wanna see or these are all the news flowing in the market. Up here, there's been a bit of a change because right now you can see this is Chart Watcher and I'm still using it and I really do like it because it's super simple and it's just a desktop. So if whatever I'm using a different computer or my laptop, I can still look at everything that's moving at night or just pre-market whenever I'm having breakfast. But I did also try this trade ideas that I used to use quite a long time ago but i'm giving it one more shot and the only reason why i'm doing it is just because you can spread the platform better so i have my morning scan over here with the news also just over here and on this other monitor just as you can see i can still have also a higher day scanner that's just taking up a lot of space over here on my vertical monitor and i can see everything that moved through the day so i find it quite neat that I can place the stuff on different monitors and all of that stuff. So on top over here, it's gonna be quite reflective, but I don't really have a choice. But this is the trading view platform and I'm using this one just to set up alerts over here and also for watch lists. This is how I have it set up and I quite like it this way. So this is just to see what's going on and if I have alerts but it's not gonna be used really for trading or looking at stuff actively. So it's gonna be more of a watch list and pre-market watch. So moving on to this window over here. So I'm gonna back up a bit and you guys can see I have four level two and it's quite rare that I actually use four, but I do have four. So the way it's set up is I have the level two on this side over here with time and sale and over here I have the charts and I'll separate like this. When I was using the vertical monitor at first, I was trying to fit, you know, this uh, chart beside this level too. But what was actually happening is there was like too narrow and there wasn't just enough space over here like this. I ended up actually using this monitor fully for charts and this one for level two and it works pretty much perfectly. And I really do enjoy that setup for the moment. So the platform that you see there for the level two it is Dash Trader. I used to have Sterling for quite a while. I decided to give Dash Trader a shot again. Um, the reason why is just more customizable than Sterling, and I find it pretty useful to have some really good hotkeys and stuff like that set up compared to Sterling. But I'll see when it comes to really just trading if I do like it more. Coming back to this screen, I have just order window, PNL over here, and on top over here, you guys can see these are just like quick rules that I write or notes for the day. And here I have the trade ideas uh, alerts. So if ever I wanna see additional alerts or right now I don't have anything to actually put there. So I'm just gonna put this for the moment and it works pretty nice. When I come back to this monitor, I already talked about a bit, but I'm using the trading view charts and the way I have it set up is just by creating separate box as you guys can see. And so whenever I type in a ticker, if ever I go and write you know, spy, or that's soy, that's not what I meant. So if I type in spy, you guys are gonna be able to see that it's gonna be linked between the two. Otherwise, if you put it all in like one window, this big thing, nothing is gonna be linked and it's gonna be quite annoying. So I have it all in separate stuff. So it just works pretty well. If ever I wanna also trade one ticker and look at a bigger chart, I'll just make it bigger like this so I can have more real estate to play with and everything is gonna be good to go. So moving on to the last monitor over here that we have right now, I have it closed, but I always have my Evernote open with like my pre-market watch and everything that I'm watching for the day with the higher day scanner because I don't want it to have it in my face because it's always gonna move when stuff are moving and all this stuff. So I don't have it normally in my face, it's just there on my side monitor. And right now when it comes to uh, dilution and all this stuff, I'm using dilution tracker uh, just over here. It's quite nice, um, pretty reflective there, but it's a pretty good platform. You guys should check it out. It's not expensive for what it gives, but also it's all information that's already available for free. So it's just 
the way it's separated and easier to read so it can speed up a bit your process. So that's pretty much it. The last thing I always have is just OBS. And as you guys can see, this is gonna be recording all of my screen. So if ever I put this bigger, you guys can see that this is gonna be recording my vertical screen that I have over here like this. And it's also gonna be recording all my level two. So you guys can see. So whenever at the end of the day, I wanna watch back something, everything is gonna be linked over here. So additional platform that I'm using is just gonna be this edge to trade that I have over here when it comes to historical data and looking at stuff in the past of what happened but mostly these are gonna be all the platform that I'm currently using. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys wanna take an extra look at what the setup looks like, it's like this. So it's definitely a lot of screen and it's quite expensive, but it works very well for me. So hope you enjoy. If you wanna check out any of these tools, everything will be linked down below. So don't forget to check it out.